hey guys this is logical saint and in the last video we had covered up to uh, the blocking part of this particular geometry which i was seeing and now i'll tell you how to export it to fluent and let's do the, do some fluent operations in this mesh and uh, just click the output mesh option here and click select solver so we need ansys fluent otherwise there are many available as you can see but we need ansys fluent so just click ok and oh what happened yes it is insufficient and click or directly on the right input and uh, this is edit and boundary condition so no we don't need to need right input so yes click on yes and uh, so guys uh, ICM will save the mesh in the same folder you have the dot prj file of ICM CFD so don't change it because it uh, change this name because it will create an error i'll tell you how to change the name so you can change your name here in the front let's call it our mesh mesh file So guys, I have uh, opened the Fluent uh, and Fluent software and I'll try to read the mesh which we have created. So let us say my mesh is, uh, so our mesh should be uh, here. So click OK. And guys here friend is saying that it has a solid zone error guys if this kind of error comes to you uh, that you have a solid zone in your fluid domain so just try to go to the cell zone conditions okay and for solid just select it was previously selected fluid uh, solid so i changed it to fluid okay so this is how you can mm, uh, convert it into fluid domain so it is now a fluid domain so let us uh, select uh, uh, so let me just introduce you to what is happening here so every solver uh, whatever problem is always mostly pressure based and yes here is it also pressure based and it will be a steady problem because we are not it will not be a time dependent problem so it will we will keep it simple okay so now uh, we will try to uh, move air or water through this inlet let me show you through this inlet and we'll try to uh, make water flow through it up to the another end so let's see how we do it so for that uh, we need our multiphase model enabled so guys there are three uh, models available in multiphase uh, option that is volume of fluid mixture and Eulerian let me tell you guys all three are Euler 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 we say Euler and sometimes Euler but Euler is correct so it is Euler Euler multiphase model. All three are Euler Euler multiphase models. So uh, let me tell you a brief uh, things about these all three. So in volume of fluid, uh, we allow two immiscible fluids to interact with each other, and it is a very simple. So uh, at max we use only two fluids, but you can use three with some complications. In mixture, uh, so what volume of fluid do, do? Sorry, let's coming into volume of fluid. So what volume of fluid does? It only solves momentum equations for the fluids, which are uh, and mostly these are two immiscible fluids. What mixture model does? It uh, solves an equation of n phases. Means we can use multiple amount of fluids in mixture models and multiple phases in mixture model. So what it does? It solves a set of n phases and it solves this momentum continuity and energy equation means we can enable the energy equation and temperature is also involved in this mixture so this is uh, mostly used when uh, there are bubbles and when particles are there in the flow okay so eulerian so what eulerian multiples model it is the most complex of all three and uh, it is also used for gr granular particles and obviously mixture 
is also used for granular but in Eulerian a different approach is used to solve the physics for the granular particles okay Eulerian uh, option is mostly used for fluidized beds bubble columns risers and when there are particles are suspended in our uh, in our fluid domain so I'll not talk about this DDPM or boiling or whatever but I think here we have to keep it simple so we will use volume of fluid so click ok here and energy is off there is no heating or cooling in our model so energy will be off and uh, viscous and yes be a laminar flow I don't want any turbulence so I'll select laminar ok there is no radiation heat exchanger is not here species guys species is used when we use chemical reactions discrete phase I'm not uh, uh, I'm not suspending any particle inside this so I'll not use discrete phase and yes the all these three are also not of my domain so let us start so uh, now we have to give the phases which phase you are using in this so let's go to the setting of physics and uh, click on add phase so uh, how many so let us see how many phases we have here we have air so now we have to add water here because we want water to flow so click cancel and I'll add so you can add from fluent database fluent database uh, by name and yes we want water so just go to water I want water liquid okay so these are their properties given and you can change sometimes and just click copy and close and your water liquid will be displayed in your material section so now we'll add phases no, sorry lists so there are three phases added here so let us see what are they can I delete these no I think I can't so let's say our phase one is air yes that is good now what is our secondary phase it is also a change to water okay and uh, third is also here I want to delete my third phase um, is it not, can I? yes we can delete it here okay so I have two phases so I want to make water flow through my uh, mesh so I'll make phase two only flow through my mesh okay so let's go to the boundary conditions and let me show you the my drawing so this was the mesh we drew uh, in the ICM CFD and let's see what happens so now as, as you can see here guys uh, I'll select mass flow inlet okay because it is much more practical than velocity inlet so I'll so it is uh, um, give attention guys uh, it is mixture here so I want my water here so phase one is air so make sure to do it zero because I don't want any air to flow so in phase two uh, I want I'll give a significant let's say 15 kg per second so it is a very high mass flow rate let's reduce it let's say 10 10 is good it will uh, uh, it will be shown to us very clearly so yes into solid and guys one more thing just just when you are doing your outlet your mixture should be set to pressure outlet because uh, this is the best uh, uh, best setting for any outlet and I think in every ANSYS fluent exercise everyone uses pressure outlet so this is the best setting for pressure outlet okay for the for any outlet is pressure outlet and uh, let's see what happens afterwards mm. so, so let me tell you guys uh, some little things about these pressure velocity couplings so basically what we are doing in fluent is we are solving the equations which we have so as you can see in this which equations we have we have uh, let me tell you no. let me, I have uh, uh, this multi-phase volume of fluid this must be a continuity equation okay and I have a laminar equation okay so I have these two equations in fluent so 
so what i am doing i am solving these equations to know some unknowns maybe it may be velocity it may be uh, it may be the fraction of uh, uh, my water in this domain where is water and what like that so i'll use simple scheme first so simple scheme as the name signifies it is the very uh, initial scheme and simple stands for semi implicit uh, pressure linked equations so so all these four methods simple iso coupled all these are pressure velocity coupling methods means they uh, they couple pressure and velocity with equations and they solve both of them simultaneously so let me tell you except the coupled scheme all these three scheme except the coupled scheme all the simple simplex and piso these three are used uh, these three what they do they solve momentum and pressure equations separately okay and and these have a very slow convergence rate means it may take a long time for the solution to come okay but it also depends on the type of mesh you are using if you are using a complex mesh okay sometimes simple gives you good and coupled not and uh, it is a different topic to which method you should use but let me tell you guys method uh, has a very little effect on the solution mostly every method should give you the same solution that is the point so coupled is a scheme in which all the equations are parallelly solved they all solved um, uh, momentum and pressure equations together okay so uh, let me tell you simplex is uh, semi implicit pressure link equations and c stand for consistent piso stands for um, pressure implicit and splitting of operators so piso is mostly used for the transient operations okay um, so that's all i think i know about the schemes so uh, for if if you want another video for this uh, this section you can post it in the comments and i'll, I'll uh, deepen my study to put these videos so i think guys let us start so after that we go to initialization so what is initialization guys in mathematics uh, this initialization means we give some pre values to uh, start our numerical method for finding the solution of a particular equation so in this initialization we say at this boundary we have some values and uh, fluent takes some values if you do hybrid initialization fluent will itself assume the values but uh, in some custom cases we use standard initialization so here it is not that uh, i want zero velocity i want everything to be zero at start so it is all zero so i'll initialize and yes it has been initialized so let us say now i want to run my calculation i'll not talk about these and other things i'll just run so time step size so yeah my equation is steady yes it is not transient so steady so now you'll see the run calculation will change yes it has changed so let us say i want to run for 5000 simulations so i'll just start calculate so i'll not you can see the scaled residuals as you can see guys i have this uh, pre ran my case and because it will take some 15 to 20 minutes to run that so i'll just skip that and directly show you the results which i have got here so let us see the contours so guys uh, for the contours you need to create a plane so that you can uh, view your results so let us see how i created the plane i think you know that uh, let us let me show you which plane so this is uh, my geometry so from icm cft it 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 is almost the same axis orientation so i need the x y axis so what you have to do you have to you have to create a new plane and just put the x y points x y plane points here and if you do that you click create and after that you just get your plane so let's see if i have created this good plane or not uh, it's lagging a bit 
so keep it filled yes i think i have created the correct thing so what is the point of our interest is velocity let us see the velocity yes it is quite uh quite uh, agreeing that this will be the velocity so let me show you yes this is so you can see here as you can see uh, here the velocity is high and uh, we have not created the uh, created this problem to study the boundary layer phenomena so you can see you cannot just really get it so guys i have just shown you how to use fluent in the initial stage and so guys this is the velocity uh, contours you can see and i think uh, we have made the water to flow through it here i have compared the residuals of the uh, our uh, mesh and uh, uh, the solver we have ran our own brush and uh, here is comparison of piso and simple you can see there is not much change there may be a change of highs and lows and uh, this signifies that uh, uh, the numerical method has not much to play but remember guys if there our mesh was really complicated and the conditions were really complicated but then the numerical method do plays an important role in the uh, in the numerical solution thank you guys please let me know the suggestions and demands if you have in the comment box and thank you for watching